Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I will be bringing to y'all today my summer home tour. Uh, I've been, I've had my home decorated for the summertime for a few months now, and I just wanted to bring it to y'all so that you can maybe hopefully get some sort of inspiration from this as well. And I was going to I uh, changed my decor out to the farmer's market theme, but my life has been pretty hectic. And so I opted out of doing that this year, but I hope to be doing that again next year. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this tour to you today. And then hopefully within the next coming week, I can change out to fall decor. So let's go ahead and get started on this tour. And I hope that you enjoy. I'll flip this camera around and we'll go and get started. Be right back. All right, we are going to uh, move on over here by my front door. I did haul this sign here, so I placed it here to the left of the door. And then over here in my entryway, I had purchased gift bags several years ago from Dollar Tree and I painted the frames there. And as you see, the hanger for the rope hanger is, was left on there as well as the gift tag. And I just like the way that that looks. So I did frame those. And I also like to do that with calendar pages as well. I have this sign here from Walmart. And then I have these DIY snow cones that I made a couple of years back. I was gonna show those on my channel, I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. I also made the fake ice cream there in the back. And then the fake ice cream there in the bottom as well. And uh, uh, this tray here, was made out of a three-piece set that came from Walmart. And I found the candle holders at Michael's, and or candlesticks, I guess you could call them, the wood ones. And I just glued them to each of those trays. So here gives you an idea of my entryway table. And I also have made these milkshakes as well. I had all intentions of doing some DIYs for the summertime, but my life has been kind of crazy, so I haven't been able to show that on my channel. And then down below the table here, I do have a couple of pillows and the ice cream signs there. Then off to this side, I have this uh, uh, stake that I put down into a galvanized bucket that I painted. And then I have some sand down in there with some seashells. Then moving on over here, I have my bench with a couple of my bears. And uh, this is how I have it decorated here. And then along over here, I have this green picket fence that I leave up year round. I just change out the decor. So I have a couple more bears there, along with some frogs, and then a few signs and things like that. And then I have these hats here that I left from the springtime. And then I have a couple of Dollar Tree signs as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and move into my living room. So as you see, I do have bookcases on each side of my fireplace. So let's go ahead and get on over here. I have a couple of boxes that I placed up there from Dollar Tree a sign that I picked up from the beach when I went several years ago. And 
And then in my light box, I put ice cream for ice cream. <laughs> and then I also made those uh, wood blocks there as well that I change out seasonally with the different words. And then I have this little display that I have here. And then the watermelon there, I made that as well a while ago, several, several, several years ago. And then some candle holders that came from Dollar Tree with a, a, a uh, I think it's more like a coaster that's there in the middle. Let me, let me move back so you can see a little bit better. So that's that side there. And then down below, I also have my little wheelbarrow that I keep out all year round. And I have some fake flowers in there as well. All right, so coming on over here to my uh, mantle, I have these shutters here that I made a few years ago. And those are with large popsicle sticks and frames from the Dollar Tree. And I did paint those. And then this sign here came from Dollar Tree a few years ago. I also made this as well, this candle holder, as well as I also made this fabric garland and I made this pennant garland as well. And I made this sign here to hang from um, below my fireplace. And then on this side, it is almost mimicked, but I do have a different candle holder there and then a plate. So let me step on back here. Let me step around the dog, sorry. <laughs> Then down below on my hearth, I have my lanterns I keep out year round. And then I left out my rain boots from the springtime. And then I have these set of three boxes that came from Dollar General a couple years back. All right, moving along on this side, I have this, uh, what would you call this? I made this uh, for a birthday party for my mom, and it's out of this, uh, uh, oh goodness, what is this stuff called? <laughs> I, I'm drawing a blank, but I did make this, and I put the seashells on there. And then I have my chalkboard sign that I keep out pretty much the year round as well. And then this is how I have my bookcases decorated. The uh, sailboats came from Dollar Tree. Uh, this starfish came from Dollar General. And then I also have picked these up from Dollar Tree a few years back. And then more of those candle holders over here from Dollar Tree as well. And then I DIY'd that little sign there. And this is one of my tables here. This is how I have it decorated here. And then coming along over here to my couch. Here are the pillows that I have on my couch here. And then I have a few things on this table as well. And let me spin you around without making you dizzy. I have my coffee table that has some of the little planters, which I have not put any fake succulents in there. <laughs> but I do like the way that it looks there. And then I have my bowl there that I have the, uh, is it called fishnet? Oh, I can't remember. And, uh, and then I have seashells down in there. All right, let me spin you back around here. And I have this table here with a couple of Dollar Tree signs there. 
And then this is how I have my table decorated. I made this sign here a few years back. And then down below here, I have a bucket with some seashells, some greenery with more seashells, and then like a straw hat and some lays. So let me step on back so you can see that. Okay, so let's go ahead and head on into the dining room. I have this buffet here that sits next to my dining room table. And this is how I have decorated it. I won't go into detail of everything. And then I have this wood mermaid piece that came from Hobby Lobby. And then down below here, this chest was my youngest daughter's and she didn't want it anymore and it does have a mermaid, so I decided to take it from her and use it. <laughs> and then I also have my tricycle here as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on over here to the dining room table. I have taken placemats and I staggered them, as you can see, to uh, mimic like a runner. And then I also have this that was a burp cloth that years ago when my oldest daughter, she's now 20, when she was young or an infant, uh, someone had given me this one and another one and they had stamped it. And I just think it's so pretty. I've never wanted to actually use it as a burp cloth because it's just beautiful to me. So I've always used it as a decor piece. So right here for my three-tier tray, I have decorated it with a mermaid theme. So as you see here, like the mermaid tails, those were from Dollar Tree a few years back. And then I have a few signs there. And I will get onto the other side in a little bit so you can see the other side of that. And then I have this other tray that I keep at the end of the table at times throughout the year. And this is how I have it decorated. And then moving along over here, I have this little table here for my boyfriend's nieces. And I just put, again, some more of that. And y'all, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank as to what it's called. But I, I did lay that back down there and I put a bucket with the sunflowers and so I think that's just so cute there. And then above that, I have this fabric wreath that's supposed to look like a watermelon. I made that a few years ago. And then another Dollar Tree sign there as well to the right. And then over here, I have my blanket ladder I also made this sign here with a pizza pan and a Dollar Tree sign. Have another one of those bears. And then a few things down there in the bottom in this basket. All right, so let's go ahead and get over here to this corner. And then on this table right here, I have another Dollar Tree sign with a few nautical pieces as well. And then I have a few things down here also. The three piece set to the left also came from Dollar Tree, I believe last year, I wanna say. I just love that store. I can always find such cute goodies from there. And of course, for a dollar. <laughs> so here's how I have the back side decorated. All right, let's go ahead and lead. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and move on over here to my hutch. All right, here is a overview of my hutch. 
sorry, my couch is in the way a little bit here. All right, let's go ahead and go into detail of everything. So I have this sign that I picked up from Burlington a couple years ago. And then I have a few other pieces up there. I won't go into detail on everything. I did also make this sign here where it says the beach. I made that. Sometimes if I can DIY something, I will. <laughs> and then I have my scale here with some seashells in there. And then over here to the left, I have this paddle from Hobby Lobby. I have this sign up here from Hobby Lobby. And then I also have the whale sign as well from Hobby Lobby. And then, well, we'll get over to that side here in a minute. Then down on this shelf, I have a Dollar Tree sign there that says Beach Access. Let's move over to this side. All right, so I have the Crab Shack sign that also came from Hobby Lobby last year, I believe it was. And then I have the felt piece from Dollar Tree of the Crab that I hung there. And then my stool with my lantern. All right, over here in this little corner, I made some fake foods. Not how well you can see those. I made some brownies and I made some strawberry shortcake and some fake macaroons and some fake chocolates and the uh, fish candy. They're all fake to make look, look like fake food there. And then down below I have a little plant and a lantern. And then this was a towel it came from Dollar Tree that I put on my little ladder here. Uh, in my kitchen nook here, this is how I have my table decorated. I have my wine rack over here that I've placed this Dollar Tree sign on the top. And then I made the sign there that says life's better in flip-flops. And then my chalkboard sign that I put is summer, y'all. We'll get over here into this area here in just a minute. Above my refrigerator, I have my basket that I keep out year round and I have my funky bow on there. And then I place some greenery in there and some flowers. And then I have a Dollar Tree box there. And then this uh, pitcher with some flowers in it. Over here on my counter, this is how I have my shelf decorated. And then on the corner of my cabinet here, I have this little small two-tier tray from Target. And that's how I have it decorated here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into my bedroom. Before you get into my bedroom, there is this little enclave area, I guess you could call it. And I have a wreath there above the gun rack. I have a shelf here. I'm gonna move it to this side so you can see a little bit better. And I just have a couple of summertime signs up there along with some lanterns and a garland. 
And then down below it, I have this table as well. And I'll show you how I have it decorated. I also made the fake ice cream there in the bottom and it was made with some foam balls and I painted them. Let me get down a little bit closer so you can see that. And I found those ice cream holders at Dollar Tree a few years back. And then going in here into my bedroom, uh, above my vanity, I have this shelf here. And this is how I have it decorated. And I have this summertime sign that I made as well. And then in a, in a hall, I showed these the glass jars. So this is where I have placed them at on my makeup cart. We'll swing over here. I have another cart with a candle warmer and a couple of the little things there. And then here is my summertime tree. The ornaments, most all of these ornaments, like all of these, this one here with the wheel and then the anchor and what is the other one? Sailboat, all those were Dollar Tree ornaments that I have painted. And then I have uh, placed a starfish up there in the top. And then I have a couple of other signs that I have picked up along the way. And then here is how I have my bed. With my puppy on there. <laughs> I hope that y'all enjoyed my summer home tour. If you're stopping by for the first time, welcome. I would love for you to check out some of my other videos as well. Besides home tours, I also do DIYs and I do shopping hauls as well. So, uh, but if you are new, um, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button along with if you would hit that thumbs up button as well. And uh, be on the lookout for some of my upcoming videos. I will be shortly changing out to my fall decor. And uh, I do decorate for the month of September for fall. And then in October, I will change to Halloween decor. And then back in November will be my back to my fall, but also Thanksgiving decor. And then into December will be Christmas. So there are going to be several home tours coming your way. So if you like that sort of thing, I would love for you to join me. So as always, thanks for watching y'all. Bye.